Hey everyone, it's Matt Arlen, and today I'm going to talk about my school bus related update. Um, so, uh, my district ordered one brand new Microbird bus on a Chevy chassis. Um, it's a regular one and not a handicap accessible one. Unfortunately, I didn't get to volunteer at the garage for the third year in a row. I'm sure everyone's just as frustrated as I am. Um, um, but when I, when I had some free time, I got the chance to drive to the garage, um, j just drive around the lot and, and look around to see w what's the same and what's different. Um, so, besides having one brand new Microbird bus, um, I noticed that two of the Bluebird Visions, um, bus numbers 1 and 21, um, they're 2020 models, um, I noticed that those now have aftermarket backup cameras on them. So, besides showing off the Microbird buses that my district has, um, I'm I'm also wanting to show off the backup cameras on the two Bluebird Visions that have them, even though they're aftermarket. Um, when I looked around, numbers one and twenty one were the only Bluebird Visions that had aftermarket backup cameras on them at the time. I don't know whether the other Bluebird Visions will have them installed eventually or not. Um, I was surprised that my district got an another microbird bus um i wonder if they'll ever get some more bluebird visions in the future um since my district's not ordering ic buses anymore so besides showing off the aftermarket backup cameras um everyone knows that i want to show off the microbird buses so everyone can see them and plus I've never had the opportunity to start one up and turn on all the lights. And so, unfortunately, I don't know whether the lights are incandescent or LEDs on the stop arm when that comes out. And, but from looking around on the outside, I noticed that the brake, reverse, tail, and rear turn signals are all LEDs. And, and the... Eight-way warning lights are incandescent. So, hopefully before winter gets here in the fall time, hopefully I'll get another chance to go to the IC bus dealership since I on was only able to go one time last year. And hopefully I'll be able to make an another trip to the Bluebird dealership as well. Um, it's easier for me um, to get over to the Bluebird dealership um, because um, that's a shorter drive and I'm not, re I'm not required to make any appointments for that. Um, so maybe once I'm done working six days a week and have some more free time, um, hopefully I'll be able to make that trip um, so, that'll be pretty much it. Until the next video. Bye.